Living large is a thing of the past. Living small is the hottest trend these days. Whether you're living in a studio apartment or just bought yourself a tiny home, people are making the decision to downsize. Welcome to Jensen's DIY, and here are 25 storage ideas for small space living. 1. Whether you're in a studio apartment or a tiny home, you will still want to have the concept of room separation, even when you're in an open space. One way to accomplish this is with shelf dividers. Not only are you creating the illusion that one of your rooms is now two, but you are also providing yourself extra room for storage with these installed shelves. You can get any to match the feel of your room, while giving you prime functionality. 2. You're going to need a bed. No matter how small or tiny your bedroom is, or what size mattress you decide to get, you're going to need one in order to sleep on. A great way to utilize this even basic piece of furniture is by getting a bed frame with storage. Yes, you can store items underneath a bed frame, but if you're originally getting a bed frame that doesn't allow storage, you're wasting that space. 3. This may seem a little out there, but a wall-mounted seat is actually a really good idea when you are wanting to free up some floor space in your tiny room. If you are leasing and your landlord permits it, a wall-mounted seat is something to consider. Not only are you not taking up space on the floor, but you can also use it to hold items such as pillows or anything else, so you have a shelf and a chair all in one. 4. Why would you take up valuable space in your small room for a full-size desk? Even a smaller one is taking up room that you could be using for something else, or even more room to walk. The way that you get around this is with a wall-mounted desk. If you have any work that you needed done, such as on your computer or paperwork, just fold down the desk and get your work done. Once you are finished, fold it back up. 5. Piggybacking on the previous suggestion, think about when it's time to eat. When you are in a studio apartment or tiny home, you don't want to just eat while you're on your couch. So, with a folded down table, you can put it down when it's time to eat, and when you're done, just put it up. This idea is great for one person or a whole family. 6. For the underutilized corner in your kitchen, building a banquet seat, bench, is ideal. Not only can you put a few cushions on top, so you can sit on it and have a table in front of you, but you also store items in that bench for maximum storage. When you have a smaller home, you want to make sure that every square inch is functional. Don't let any corner go to waste. 7. If you have a tiny home that has two floors, utilize the stairs. There's no need to let that space go to waste. So, work with a carpenter to make those areas functional for store. You will barely notice that your stairs will have doors that can be opened so more items can be stored in there. What's great is that you don't need to sacrifice your possessions for the sake of living in a small space. 8. When you are thinking about a small space, walls are really your best friend. Make sure to utilize your wall space for shelving. Whether you're wanting to put books, plants, pictures, and more on shelves, don't get an actual standing shelf. Get ones that install on the walls that not only look great, but will help free up your floor space. 9. When you are really looking at ideas on how to best free up space, why not consider a fold-down bed? If you think about it, you are only in your bed when it's time to go to sleep. Sure, some people sit in their bed when it's time for TV, but that's what a couch is for. With a fold-down bed, you have more room to move around and even entertain. Fold-down beds are easy to use and quick to put away. 10. Reading is fun, but storing all of those classic novels you enjoy curling up to can sometimes be a hassle. A sturdy bookshelf could take up a lot of room that you could be using for something else. That is why having an under-the-bed bookshelf might be a good idea for you. Not only are you already utilizing the space under your bed, but a book is with arm's length when you are wanting to go to sleep and read a good tale before you close your eyes for the night. 11. You probably haven't seen this before, but think of the space underneath your cabinets. Even those can be used to store more. When you are thinking about things that you need, but are wondering where to put even more of them, you can install sliding shelves under the cabinets to have even more room for your possessions. 12. 
Spices are what make food taste amazing, but spices can also take up a lot of room in your kitchen. In order to minimize the space that spices take, you can make a rolling spice rack that fits in between the fridge and the wall. This may not seem like anything that you would have thought of previously, but it really is a good idea to help save space in your small kitchen. 13. Appliance hooks help a lot when it comes to your small space. Instead of pushing everything into a cabinet, use appliance hooks. When it comes to your under-the-sink cabinets, you can install these hooks on the door in order to hang things such as curling irons and items like that. This way you can store the bulkier things without having to worry about items with cords taking up space. 14. Why put your shoes on the floor when you can simply hang them? You can install a low mountain coat rack that is perfect for hanging your shoes. Not only are you freeing up floor space, but you're also keeping any dirt off your floors. Plus, it will certainly be a talking piece for guests who come over to see how you decide to rework your small room. 15. This kind of shelving is a really neat idea when it comes to the toiletries in your bathroom. Normally, toilet paper and other items would take up space in a cabinet or underneath sink. The commode allows you to have your toiletries away from any cabinet or shelving, but within reach for when you need it most. 16. For a small kitchen, your cabinets are everything. Do you really want to clutter your cabinets up with pots and pans when you can simply hang them? No matter what you choose, whether it's hanging them above the stove or on a wall, it is regardless a good idea so that you can use your cabinets for other items. Also, this has your pots and pans within reach, instead of having to dig them out and causing a mess or getting hurt. A pot landing on your foot is never a good thing. 17. Remaining within the kitchen area, we talked about spices. A really neat way to store your spices is by turning your fridge into a magnetic strip and putting your spices directly on the kitchen fridge. This help frees up space elsewhere and is a really good piece for guests to see when they come to your home. Your spices are in front of you and within reach for whatever meal you are making at that moment. 18. Buying a cabinet shelving piece of furniture that goes over the toilet is a great space saver as well. You are already making the most out of the area that the toilet is in. So, you might as well instead of the shelving to put things like toilet paper, lotions and others there. Instead of just relying on your mirror cabinet, find other ways to store your items when it comes to your bathroom. 19. You love your cups. A lot of times what you are drinking out of was picked specifically to show your personality. So why would you want to stuff them away in a cabinet that will take up space? Instead, show off those cups. You can put your favorite mugs on display while also freeing up your cabinet space. It's a neat idea that adds more character to your living space that will make you feel even more at home. 20. This type of shelving is really smart to be able not to sacrifice how much you have for the small space that you are living in. With a smaller home, you probably think that there are things you need to get rid of, but that's not the case. You can install these shelves and put everything from decoration to storage items that will be out of the way but still close enough that you can grab them whenever you are needing something. 21. If you look for it, you will find it. Furniture is becoming more innovative now. Therefore, you can find nearly anything that have room for extra storage in it. One place you may not have thought of when thinking about where you can store items is your headboard. But you can look for a headboard that has slide-out storage in it so that you don't have to stress where are you going to fit everything. 22. Your radiator can also provide some storage with shelving. If you have an external radiator in your bathroom, why not store items in it and on it? You can buy or build a radiator shelf for that added bit of storage, especially if you have a small bathroom. 23. Your corners in every room are bare. Rectify that by adding in floating shelves that will be able to be tucked away in the corners and be able to hold items of yours. Corner shelving is really sleek looking and just a good use of a normally unused space. This is something you should really invest in and you can find them for a very low price on such sites where you can purchase furniture. 24. 
Let's say you live in a real small space and you don't have room for a full-fledged kitchen. Even so, you may not be the biggest cooker in the world. You can eliminate the space that a full stove would take up by simply buying a portable stovetop. You can store it away when you aren't using it to have the counter space and it's simple to install. Just plug it in to any nearby outlet. 25. For the person who has a lot of shoes, that is a lot of space being taken up on the bottom floor of your closet. Free that area up with a simple rack that can be hung on your closet door. You don't need to get rid of any shoes or even present yourself in getting more because you can get a long shoe rack that will fit every pair that you have. Plus, you will keep them clean and not scuffed from being flung onto the floor carelessly. And that's all for now. What do you think about this episode? Please share your thoughts about this video in the comment section. For more small space organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.